Ariel Helwani post-fight at Bellator 222 alongside Rory McDonald, who picked up a unanimous decision victory tonight over Naaman Gracie. Rory, congratulations on the victory. You know, it felt like we were scrutinizing everything you said and did leading up to this fight, and I was certainly doing that while watching you fight and afterwards as well. Can you compare how you feel right now as opposed to six weeks ago after the John Fitch fight? Yeah, I feel like I competed really well, and... Uh uh, obviously, I still want to work on a lot of things in there, but uh, you know, it was just you know pure sport and competition. I felt like I did pretty good, and it was a good fight. You feel better? Yeah, like just like where, from where I was at. Yeah, absolutely. Even like just in the preparation of this, like I I had clarity not too long after that fight. Moving forward, how did you get the clarity? Uh, prayer, talking to my wife, my pastor. You know, you know, reading the Bible and just taking some some time to just figure out how my how, how everything has changed in my my life in the last three years and and just fit fighting into it it was something that you know fighting has just become something that i've always known you know so all these changes that happened in my life um i never took that time to address fighting in there i just kind of it's it was just something i did you know like uh instinctually but you know with all the changes in my spirituality and just all the the things in my life, having uh, getting married, having children, a house, you know, just a total lifestyle change and spiritual change. Um, I needed to address fighting in there and something I never did really before this moment. All that said, were you worried that those old feelings that you had during the Fitch fight would come up in this one? No, I wasn't thinking about that at all. I, I mean, I, I was really was not not there. I was just focused on doing my job and, you know, yeah. It felt, at least to me, like a pretty flawless performance. At any point, did you feel endangered in the fight? Oh, submission attacks. I definitely felt like if I gave him even a second, like if I was lazy for a second, he was hungry to lock those in. He's, he, he knows what he's doing on the ground, so I, I definitely felt like I had to address that. Um, but in the stand-up, you, you, you felt a little like awkward timing compared to some guys I'm used to training with, you know. So that was something that I wasn't familiar with. I had to adjust on the fly. But it was a good experience and a lot of learning. This is his first major fight, right, first major title fight, Madison Square Garden. He lives here. Do you feel like one of those situations where, okay, the first one didn't go his way, but this is a guy who eventually will be in that title picture for a long time? Like yeah. He's that good. Yeah, no, he's, he's a very good. He's only, he's only had nine fights before he fought me. I don't know how many, I had 26 or 27 fights um, and fighting like at the top for quite a bit now, you know, like a good stretch. So that's that's a lot of experience. And I remember when I first fought Carlos Conor, I think I had nine or 10 fights. So I know that feeling of being on that big stage. And, and, and I think I was fighting in Vancouver at the time. Mm -hmm. So I, I can relate to to that feeling um, that he's going through. But he did, he did a great job, you know, he stayed in there and... Uh, you know, he's a tough guy, and I, I, think I wish him the best, and I think he's got a bright future. Coincidentally, I believe Wednesday was the nine-year anniversary of that fight against Carlos Condit, so it's amazing, uh, you know, how time has flown. And so now you get this rematch against Douglas Lima, and I'm sure you're happy to have won and to retain the title, but, man, that first fight was, was quite the, you know, it took the toll on, on your body. Are, are you looking forward to it or sort of dreading it because you know just how tough and good he is? Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, but that's that's what we do you know we're, we're we're warriors you know so uh i mean this is this is what you get when you're at the top top level you're a championship level you're not going to get an easy guy and douglas is no slouch you know he gave a hard fight for me last time and uh, i'm looking to go out there and do a better job than i did in my last one against him and finally scott coker told us that he would like to have this fight in september uh, it's not possible not possible no. <laughs> why uh, well, I'm having a son in, at the beginning of August, and me and my wife need some time to adjust to that. And I need some time to just uh, relax, rest some injuries, you know, double training camps and fights. It's time to take some time to just relax. Okay. Uh, so the old me would have been like, yeah, yeah let's yeah. go. <laughs> but I need, uh, I need to relax, and we need, uh, we're, we're going to have our new addition coming soon, and it take some time to adjust to that. And then we can start thinking about booking a fight. So would you like to take the rest of the year off? No, I'd like to maybe the end of the year, okay. but uh, yeah, or like somewhere in there, but not September. How excited are you to have a son? 
uh, it's it's awesome. Like I, I felt like so much has been going on with the fighting since uh, you know we found out. It, now it just seems like now everything's done and we could just focus on my son coming. So it's it's you know it's a relief and I'm really excited. It's gonna be awesome. Congratulations on the win and happy Father's Day on Sunday. I appreciate it. You too.